The village of Cobleskill is hiring an independent attorney to investigate allegations of racism against two elected officials. This comes after an audio recording was leaked reportedly with the mayor and the town supervisor using racial slurs. Beth Wortman joins us now from the newsroom with more. Good evening, Beth. Good evening, Jim. Well, some Cobble School residents are so incensed by the content of these recordings, they gave them to us. And tonight, there are demands for these officials to resign. Oh, I mean, those type of words is not something in this day and age we should be, should be hearing, especially our, out of our elected officials. Dave Keenan is so outraged about a secretly recorded audio tape being circulated around Cobleskill, he sent it to News Channel 13. It's a recording allegedly made by the town's highway superintendent. And Keenan says in the first clip, Mayor Mark Nadeau uses the N-word to make fun of President Obama's campaign slogan. That's what change means, you know. What's that? Come, help, get, elected. Oh, my God. Change. That's the platform he ran on. What do you think I'm running on? Change. I want, I'm a I've been treated like him. In a second clip, Keenan identifies town supervisor Thomas Murray also using the N-word to describe Martin Luther King Day. And the other thing, too, is and then that holiday, that day, uh, Martin Luther Day. Longtime resident Jeff Lucier says he's deeply offended. Because he's representing me. And apparently in representing me, a person of color in the community of Cobleskill, I'm not who he wants to represent. Well, it's bigotry. That's, that's how I characterize it. It's prejudice and it's bigotry. Town Councilman Ken Hotop says he's shocked by the statements, also confirming the identity of the speakers on tape. He says the feelings are not reflected in the culture of town government. A lot of people in the town are disappointed. Uh, a lot of people are humiliated and a lot of people are angry. Now, we contacted both the mayor and the town supervisor, and neither are commenting tonight. We also checked with our lawyers before deciding to air these audio clips for you. They determined that since the recordings were made available to us, and we played no role in getting them made, it was appropriate to share them with you, even if the recordings may have been made without the subjects knowing. I'm Beth Workman. Jim?